Hey there, goons. We're back at the Shipgrove Sea for absolutely no reason. Well, it's because I forgot something here last time. I'm sure a few of you who don't know the storyline will find interesting. There he is. Well. Light from the sky made these ships rest here? I think we're a little boned. Well, onto the actual level. Despite my ability to horribly mess this level up, it is actually a rather easy level. I'm just real bad at the Mega City exclusive levels, I guess. However, after having played through this a fair bit, I've actually figured out how to do it. The current here is just weak enough for us to push against it. Fortunately, we can also get stuck there entirely too easy. We want to clear this up because we're going to have to go back for air. Or will we? Thankfully, there is an invincibility glyph in this level. I'm just a completionist. Before going to get our good buddy the invincibility glyph, we accidentally push a turtle out of the way. For the record, the invincibility glyph is down there. We just need to check if this turtle is... Yep, he's back to being normal. Basically, these levels we just use turtles. They function pretty much exactly the same as blocks, except they move and... <sighs> Every other time I've managed to get it perfectly, but no, this time the turtle decides to stick on a rock. There you are. Turtles are going to make a reappearance in Echo 2, and they're also found quite a fair bit in Echo Jr. Using pretty much the exact same graphics. I honestly don't know why they're in Echo Jr., because you don't have any currents to push, plus there are other turtles, but eh, I didn't design the game. Also, this is one of the few levels where we have barrier glyphs that don't respawn after you leave the screen. That is extremely useful, because it means we can go back and get that invincibility glyph whenever we want. If it wasn't for the fact there's an invincibility glyph just here. All well, invincible, we can just run into those rocks that we normally have to charge through, which is incredibly useful. Here it is. So, with them done, now we have to go and meet my favor. Yeah, that's right, another one of them. Where is he? Ah, there he is. Maybe a little hard to see, because he's much darker than last time, but this is the stone eating stars. What the hell? A wall just there? <sighs> Game. See what I mean about fake walls in these levels? Whoa. Okay, this could end very badly. Um, There we go. If I d wasn't careful there, I could have accidentally got him stuck in the wall with no hope of recovery, which I will now demonstrate. See? That's pretty much why I hate the stars. They get stuck too easily. And next up... The Sea of Silence. Huh. No description of the level. Music? M music? Yeah, music, music, music. As appropriate for a level called The Sea of Silence, there is no background music in this level. I also like its background, very nice and sunsetty. I'll be blunt, I don't know this level very well at all. I the first time I ever completed it was about oh five minutes ago. See if I can still remember how to beat it or if I'm going to get horribly stuck again. 
actually. Yes, I do. Right now, I'm just looking for the um, invincibility glyph somewhere in the level. Namely, around this massive ship, or... Okay, I'm back up at the surface. <laughs> Let's try that again with less getting lost. Wait, this way... Ugh. Out of all the levels, I would have to say the Sea of Silence is probably the biggest so far. It's also incredibly easy just to get lost. As you're seeing right now. Seeing as a lot of the areas look real similar to each other. However, we have found what we're looking for. Namely about, oh... Four of these rocks guarding an invincibility glyph. This is going to be real important on the level because we don't really have the time to go up and get air. Even though there are lots of supplies of fish all over the level, it's not, it's not really worth going up to get air. Because then again, it really is. Invincibility glyph gifts, if I haven't mentioned so far, they're going to be throughout the entire game now, and they pretty much. Especially in the levels after Atlantis, they pretty much just fulfill the purpose of giving you your air back. And giving you a, little, a brief few minute invincibility. Now, here we have a little hard part. We have to get this... We have to get an already uncooperative turtle to go down a diagonal passageway. If you've seen a few of my other videos, you know how much I don't like these. Diagonal passageways just exist to... Get Echo stuck. Well, see. Well, we can pretty much just brute force our way down there. Which is good. Have to be real quick here because... Well. Coral. We could get our health back, but our air is a little too low for that, so... Use the current. Get stuck in this wall. Of all the levels of so far, I'd just to say this one's very atmospheric, just because there's absolutely no sound at all. Rather unsettling, in a way. It'd probably be worse if it had more harsh enemies than just the common pufferfish and jellyfish, but... Eh. It only has those, so... Alright, we've got the key glyph. Let's push that out of the way. And onto the last of these levels. However, seeing as it is the hardest, naturally, we're going to leave it for next time. So, goons, next time we go to Atlantis. See yous.